Hello Joe, I'm pleased to announce I have your booster finished and tested and I'm going to show you the test right now. Uh, this is our, our vacuum that is uh, telling us how the booster is working internally and that hose leads around to this gauge right here and here's our vacuum, main source of vacuum. It goes around over here and goes up to this gauge. And what we're doing is uh, these both these gauges will read the vacuum as the my uh, produced by my vacuum pump, and then as the booster is activated, this gauge will stay at the uh, uh, indicating vacuum um, put out by my pump, and as the booster is engaged, this one will go down to zero. And the, the more you engage it, or you know, press on the brakes. The more it goes, the further it goes, and then at zero, it's fully activated. So this one will stay up here, and this one's going to go to zero. And at the same time, we will be watching our hydraulics. And what happens in, in this the way this machine is set up? This, these two gauges are tied together, and uh, as you can see, it says output. I'm sorry, input. And so as this gauge goes up and maxes out. This gauge takes over and reads the final input pressure, which is a function of the uh, my hand-operated master cylinder, which is actually this thing right here. That's the master cylinder. And the output pressure uh, is, again, these two gauges are tied together, and as this one goes up and maxes out, this one takes over and reads final pressure. And what we're looking for is a multiple of this input, and your booster is looking like it's about a three to one boost ratio. It's a, it's a, it's quite the monster. It's a, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna bet you probably have disc brakes on the front of this car. Anyway, so let's run it up and see what happens. We're not totally getting up to 21 inches here because this fitting is not uh, totally tight, uh, vacuum tight. Anyway, here we go. We're going to start the, the booster. Our pressures. We've got maximum pressure here, max pressure there, and reading final output pressure about 1,200 uh, or so right there. Now we'll now we'll watch these gauges as the booster is activated. pressure coming out of this into this master cylinder or the slave cylinder. Now what we're also going to do is while we're engaged we're going to check for leaks. You have a weep hole right here which is your first line of defense or the first indication you might have a problem internally. Got no leaks here, no leaks here, nothing leaking here and we don't have any appreciable leaks here indicating the booster is leaking internally. Uh, the drop in pressure is just a function of my master cylinder uh, which is actually it's uh, not much of a master cylinder. It's a quarter inch, quarter inch diameter steel rod uh, running through an O-ring and pumping, uh, pumping brake fluid. So let's run this again. So as long as you got your foot on the brake. Or essentially, you know, I got I got pressure on the handle here. We have an engagement and we have pressure. This is a very unique booster, um, and I'm uh, glad I was able to take care of it for you. I think you'll find it work very nicely for you. Thank you, sir.